In this video, I will show you three tips to stop blocker goals like this from going in. Let's break it down. Number one, can you see the puck? If you find yourself being screened, the first thing you should do is lean your upper body to the left or to the right to see around the screen. Now keep in mind, if the screen is too far in front of you, like it was for me in this situation, the only way to see around it would be to put yourself out of position, which you do not want to do. So that is why it is important to understand where you are standing in your crease. As a goalie, you might have heard the term depth. Basically, depth refers to the distance a goalie is positioned from the goal line. In this situation, I was playing with a good amount of depth. However, because I was screened, it reduced the amount of time I could react to the shot once I actually saw it. So if you are screened and you can't see around it, I recommend reducing your depth a bit to give yourself more time to react. But when you finally see the puck again, you need to make sure your hands are in front. Now, if you look closely, the real reason this puck ultimately went in was because it actually hit my pad, bounced up, and then hit the back of my blocker hand and went into the net. If my hands were out in front, I would have had a better chance to initially stop the puck with my blocker. But if I missed it like I did and the puck hit my pad and bounced up, I wouldn't have actually hit the puck with my hand and put it in my own net. Now, screens are tough, but what happens if the puck was shot five hole? Well, if you want to know how to stop that from going in, be sure to watch this video right here. If you like this video, hit that like button, be sure to subscribe and write down in the comments what goal I should break down next.